Okay, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to hook up a crab claw for bait. Now, I want to first mention the importance of prayer because Psalm 8 says that uh, man was created a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned with glory and honor to rule over creation, over the beasts of the field, the birds of the heaven, and everything that passes through the seas. But we know that all authority in heaven and in earth has been given to Jesus. So we want to ask the Lord Jesus uh, for help on any given day in fishing, kind of like asking for our daily bread or mindful of the fact that he said, which of you, if his son asked for fish, would give him a uh, snake instead? So you take the, the crab claw, and I like to use a uh, pair of Phillips head screwdrivers to poke a hole in one side to insert the hook. And if you notice I hit it twice, and I made two holes. Well, if I did that, if I got the spacing right, the hook will go through in through one hole, Sometimes it takes a little work. Yeah, I didn't quite get the spacing good enough. So it took a little more work. So the uh, hook goes in through one hole and out through the other hole. Now, crab claws aren't our favorite bait. Our favorite bait is cracked crab. But there's some situations where crab claws are advantageous. Like when the catfish are tearing up uh, the cracked crab and you can't keep the cracked crab long enough on the bottom to catch a, a bull drum or a bull redfish that you're hoping for. The uh, bull drum and the bull redfish will eat a crab claw. It doesn't disperse scent as well, so they won't find it from as far away, especially under muddy conditions. Uh, but this will keep the catfish at bay, at least the smaller catfish. Uh, you will catch some gaff tops with those big mouths that gaff top catfish have on the crab claw. In any case, that's how you hook up a crab claw to use it for bait. Uh, if you ever run in a trot, trot line for black drum, uh, this is what the professionals use on the trot line for black drum. All right, praise the Lord. Looks like the rod where we're fishing the crab claw just went off. Let's see what we got. Oh man, that's pulling some drag. <laughs> God, help me land this fish, I pray in Jesus' name. Woo. Man, this is all happening so fast. I, I don't even think I put that black drum that's in the boat in the cooler yet. Only been a few minutes. Oh, praise the Lord. Let's see, where are my boat grips? This is still wet. <laughs> now this is probably another black drum, given the way that the day is going. But uh, before I keep a second net on board, for moments like this. When the first net still has a fish in it. I probably set those bogey grips somewhere safe so I wouldn't misplace them. Oh, I see where they are. They're back there by the camera tripod. <laughs> All right, so I see both grips, I see the strike of the net, and I see the players. This is another black drum I might not even. Easy to just reach down and on the pliers. Well, maybe I want to pick them up with the bogey grip so to prove to everybody what a crab claw can do. <laughs> a lot of times we don't even bother to fish with the we just kind of throw them in for time. Maybe that's why we're catching so many drum these last couple of days. We've been swimming with the crab claws. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, 
Oh, another black drum. Not a monster, but a nice one. That's a nice big black drum. If you look close, you can still see the crab claw hanging out of his mouth that I showed you how to hook up a couple minutes ago. Thank you, Jesus. Wonder how many drum I can catch on that same crab claw. Oh. Throw it back out, check that it's still hooked real well, and then let it go back more. 